We've structured our content, written metadata, and tagged everything with intention. Now it's time to make sure all of that work actually works. So in this lesson, we'll walk through how to test and audit our site for SEO and accessibility. Plus, share a quick launch checklist and a few helpful tips to help your site grow even after you hit publish. Before we ever hit publish, it's worth stepping back and reviewing our site with fresh eyes, or better yet, having someone else do it. Because even with all the tools and automation in the world, a thoughtful human check is what makes a good site great. Here are some things we wanna check before going live. Does every page have a clear title, a concise description, and a clean URL? Are headings used in the right order with no skipped levels or misplaced H1s? Can we tab through the page in a logical way without losing track of focus? Are all images tagged with alt text? And are icons or graphics links labeled with ARIA? Do buttons and links clearly describe what they do? And are the site settings like language and motion preferences properly configured? Another thing that we're going to want to do before launch is to preview how our pages will appear when shared on platforms like Twitter, LinkedIn, or Slack. If we head over to our site settings and scroll down within the general section, we'll see that Framer has a place for us to set a default social image along with our favicon and an Apple Touch icon. But we can also override the social image per page, and it's worth doing especially for landing pages, blog posts, or anything that might be shared externally. A clean preview builds trust and clicks. Okay, so now let's talk about an easy way to get a quick read on your site's performance with Google Lighthouse. It's built right into Chrome DevTools, which is a set of developer tools available in Chrome that allows us to inspect, debug, and test websites. To open it while previewing your site in Chrome, just right click anywhere on your site and choose inspect. Then click the Lighthouse tab to run audits for performance, accessibility, SEO, and more. It provides a score along with actionable suggestions, but it's good to note that Lighthouse is just a helpful baseline. It doesn't catch everything. For example, it might pass your page for accessibility even if you used vague button labels like click here. So use it, but realize there are other options to test SEO and accessibility that allow you to go deeper. Things like Ahrefs Webmaster Tools and Axe Dev Tools will give you more insight, but also might require some additional costs depending on your needs. The moral of the story is to test in multiple places to get a good idea for what is working on your site. Now, once we've gone live, we don't wanna wait around hoping Google finds our site. So it's also not a bad idea to submit your site to Google Search Console to get indexed faster and monitor how your pages perform in search. This also allows us to see which keywords bring people to our site, monitor indexing status and crawl errors, and track how the visibility improves over time. The best part is that it's free and incredibly useful, so don't skip out on this step. Finally, remember that SEO isn't a one-time task. It's an ongoing process. So monitor how your content is performing right inside of Framer's built-in analytics. Revisit pages that aren't getting traffic, keep testing, keep refining, and make sure to keep accessibility in mind while the site grows. Sites change, and so do their audiences, but the more intentional we are with our structure and content, the more resilient and adaptable our site will be in the long run. So by now, you've learned how to structure your content semantically, describe your images and elements clearly, fine tune your metadata, and test your site before launch. I know SEO and accessibility can feel technical, but Framer makes it easy and no more complicated than it has to be. The tools are there, but the power is in how you use them. Now get out there and build something amazing.